Hello there everyone, welcome back to a new day of Name That Ripoff. We've got a new game, or an old game in a crappy jacket. Uh, this time in the form of Golden Arrow. What is it? Why, it's Archery from Track and Field on the NES. Interesting, but kind of expected. Um, so far I've seen two people already guess it right, and there's not much wind here, so we can just shoot, shoot, shoot. 300 points, sweet. But yeah, I've seen... Uh, Two people already get it correctly, and I'm sure as the day progresses more people will get it right, because it's not as hard. Especially seeing that the uh, uh, the game below this is also uh, a good indication of what it might be, seeing that they belong together. But the second game we've already played, so we're gonna go skip that one. And actually not doing too badly here. He says as he misses, like a fool. <laughs> Oh well, we should have uh, nailed this anyway. There we go, 350. Nice. Uh, there's not much control in this game either. You can only shoot really, and that's about it. And I'm actually not sure how you can make it go up and down. Because, you know, um, the further you are from the center, the less points you get, of course. But it seems kind of random to me. Um, how far up and down you actually aim. Like, uh, left and right, that, that's kind of given. Like, that's all the way to the to the, le to the right, because I just shot too early. But that was pretty much to the center. There we go. Oh, I actually think it has to do with how long you charge it. Well, it could be. I'm learning. I'm learning as I play. So, yeah, that's... Uh, 30. Oh yeah, it was all the way on the top. Yeah, I think it has to do with how long you charge your uh, shot. Seems to be the case. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, we qualified anyway, so who, who gives a frying freak, alright? So yeah, guys, actually disaster struck. Well, not really, but really, I, I've been wasting batteries. Last night, as I put it away, the, the, the thingy, uh, I actually left it on. Well, that's a good waste of batteries. Well, playing this thing in general is a good waste of batteries, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, it still works after having been uh, turned on for, like, uh, 12 hours. <laughs> but, oh well. Well, not 12 hours, more like uh, 10, I guess. Um, and, yeah, I am, s I am curious to see how many people will have this right, but uh, I was kind of late with the previous video last night. And oh, I, I need to set the uh, yeah, I need to send the wind again. Ah, free. That's uh, that's doable. He says as he totally whips again. But uh, yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, so I was late, and then YouTube decided no, I, I think your video needs a long processing time. Not sure why, but uh, yeah, it decided to take its time. Can't seem to hit that center, unfortunately, and. Uh, Oh, almost. And we need 1500 right now, which is uh, probably gonna be a problem. Well, actually, we're not doing too shabby here. Yeah. We should have this. <laughs> and wait how I miss. Ooh, almost. Almost! <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that was nice. I kinda hate that you have to play the other qualifying rounds uh, even if you've beaten it already. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm done here. I've done my job. It's not like it's gonna continue uh, to count my score for total or anything. Right? It isn't, right? No, it's just a 1750 uh, there. Wow, still 250 for that one. I thought I was a bit late on, uh, on it, but oh well. So yeah, wasting batteries. The good stuff. <laughs> wow, tearing this one up. Nice. Usually I'm not that great at these kind of games. Uh, I, I kind of suck. And generally speaking, these sport combinations, especially the older ones, I don't like that much. Um, like this is a pretty mild game, but you know, like the athletics uh, events. They usually tear up your hands or the controller you're using. The Commodore 64 had a lot of those kind of games as well. And let me tell you, 
those things destroyed some joysticks. <laughs> oh well. I hope there's not one of those games on here because uh, I'm, I'm absolutely terrible at the sprinting games and all that kind of awful, awful stuff. But yeah, you get the idea of this game. Uh, I can play on, but uh, I don't really feel like it. Can you actually overshoot the thing? I'm kind of curious about that. Well, let's just see if we can uh, get a ridiculous amount of wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We passed and we need to go level 3. And it's gonna be awesome. And it's gonna well, win 7. So I guess I need to, uh, like... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still tame. 1800 you need to have uh, here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we get the idea of this. So uh, let's just move on to our next game. And now we actually get to skip a whole bunch of them, so if you are interested in what they look like, just click on the name and I will have annotations on the video, so you get directed to the video. This targeting he was Dart Champion on the previous device, and it's also from Track and Field, and it is the um, uh, Clay Dove Shooting Event thingy, disc, um, you know, Clay Dove Shooting. I don't know what the actual event name is, because uh, I don't follow that kind of sport. Uh, Paint Runway was Paint Master, which is kind of like a Pac-Man deal where you have to paint the board. Uh, what was the actual game called? I forgot, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, there is an arcade game that, uh, that it's ripping off. And then we have Flying Fish, which was uh, a fish catcher on the... Uh, other device which was uh, just an extending hand catching fish and avoiding bombs which was actually a mini game in panic restaurant so click on that if you want to check that out then there is ocean war which was originally called sea war in the previous device which uh, just has you blow up submarines from the surface yeah not very interesting game but if you want to check that out click that Speaking about not being very interesting, Insect Capture was Insect Chase on the previous device. So that was basically you being a net catching insects. Doesn't get more interesting than that, does it? <laughs> he lied. Anyway, this one is new for this device and the previous device. Push the box! Yeah, shouldn't be too hard to guess this one either, I don't think. So please leave me a comment down below with the game that this is ripping off. Because yeah, there's a bunch of games uh, before this that use the exact same formula. So name me that ripoff and I'll be back tomorrow with the answer and see if you were correct. And you probably were. Don't worry about this one. <laughs> so until then guys, take care and see you later.